thank you prayers for having this what's up guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today i am super super excited to film this video because i'm gonna be doing two things that i love the most first is filming of course and second of all is eating. So today I will be reviewing an ice cream from Brayers. They're the low calorie ice cream that they just launched a while back and the Netherlands just started to have them in like the grocery store so I thought that this would be a great idea to actually do a review of this ice cream because I hear everyone talk about it all the time like all my friends in America have Halo Top, they have Brayers, they even have like Eat Enlighten or something but I've never gotten to try those. So today I'm going to be filming um, my review of two flavors because I only got the vanilla one and the cookies and cream one which I think are pretty like basic flavors that I could compare with other brands that I've tried before. They also have mint chocolate chip and chocolate, but I think I'm going to do mint chocolate another day and I will put it in this video, but I'm not going to do the chocolate one because unfortunately I love chocolate, but I don't like chocolate ice cream, so I'm not going to buy something I'm, I'm not going to eat. Let's just start up with vanilla. I think it's a pretty basic flavor. So for the vanilla one, which is the yellow tub, it has 290 calories in the entire tub. So this is less than like a donut. And I'm that type of person who always eats the entire tub whenever I have ice cream. So when I have Ben and Jerry's, I know I'm eating like a thousand calories. So it's always really nice to know that I can finish an entire tub and know I'm only consuming like 290. Like that's just perfect. So if you're an ice cream lover like me and you want to eat ice cream on the regular, this will definitely fit into your daily calorie intake. So let's try it. So this is what it looks like inside. It's pretty full, which is nice. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Um, I actually love vanilla. But I feel like this one, the taste isn't that strong, like I'm tasting more sugar than the actual vanilla flavor. And I'm someone who really, really likes rich flavors, so I'm not really sure about how I feel about this. I'll probably give it around a 6 out of 10 for the vanilla flavor. Sorry, Brayers. So for anyone who tracks macros, I don't by the way, I'm just going to tell you what they are per tub. So like I've said before, um, it's 290 calories. And in this, there's 6.6 .6 grams of fat, 45 grams of carbs, and um, there's 20 grams of protein, which is coming from like egg whites or something. Hmm. Very interesting. I feel like my favorite vanilla ice cream flavor ever is from Hagen Daz. And I think their vanilla flavor is just the best. And ever since I've tried that, ever since I was young, I realized that I never liked other brands vanilla flavored ice cream as much as theirs so I, I only stuck to theirs to be honest. Mm -mm -mm. I don't even like this that much but I'm still eating. I don't know why. Mm -mm -mm. It's funny how you can like probably eat three of these and that will just be as much as one tub of Ben & Jerry's. So it says like on the um, tub that there's lower sugar, high protein, but even if it says lower sugar, I still feel like it's pretty sweet though. I don't know. Definitely not as sweet as like Ben & Jerry's or something, but still pretty sweet. So now let's move on and try the second flavor that I got, which is cookies and cream. Um, it comes in the light blue tub. and. I have to mention though that the vanilla one is the only flavor that I've seen that is under 300 calories per tub. The rest are like 300 and above, but it's it's still good. Like for this entire tub for cookies and cream, it's 350 calories per tub. And let's look at the macros. Okay, so for the tub, it's 9.3 grams of fat, 55 grams of carbs, um, 28 grams of sugar, as predicted and um, 20 grams of protein so I think they're like the same amount of protein which is good but obviously like this one has more sugar so let's just go ahead and try it 
oh, I opened it and it was like, <sighs> excuse me? Way more empty than the vanilla one. Like, I feel like so offended right now. I thought it was going to be a full tub. Oh well. Anyways, I see like four <laughs> little cookies there. I wonder if they're actual cookies or like chocolate chips. So when it comes to cookies and cream flavor, that's like my favorite ice cream flavor. Anywhere, I always get cookies and cream. And that's why I'm also really picky. I feel like when it comes to these like flavors that a lot of people love, I tend to be really picky with that. So let's see how it goes. Mm hmm Okay, all like the cookies are stuck in one spot and the rest is just cream. So let me try that again. Mmm. <laughs> Hold on a sec. To be honest, I didn't expect the cookies to look like that. I thought they would look more like regular like Oreo cookies and a lot of other brands cookies and cream flavored. Um, they're just kind of like little chocolate cakey bits, I would say. Um, not my favorite cookies and cream flavor, but for a low calorie ice cream, this really works. And I like this way more than the vanilla, just because it has the chocolate little cookie bits. And I'd say that I guess I'm pretty unlucky because for my tub, like I said, the cookies are all set on one side and the rest is just cream. I wish they were more evenly divided within the tub, but I'm not going to be too picky with that. It's alright. It's alright, you know, like, if I had to choose an ice cream flavor, I would definitely choose this as a low-calorie ice cream. So I guess for Breyers Cookies and Cream, I would give it around a 7 out of 10. Um, it's not the best rating, but it's actually really nice. Like, I would understand why it doesn't taste as good as other brands, because, I mean, like, it's one-third or one-fourth of the calories of any other brand, so... For them to make something that tastes pretty good and, you know, like, helps you with your sweet cravings, then this is actually pretty good. Thank you, Brayers, for having this. Ice cream lovers like me can be happy. You know what I wish? I wish it was, like, a birthday cake flavor or salted caramel. Those two flavors are my, my absolute, like, top flavor for any brand. I know I said that I like vanilla, I like cookies and cream, it's like I can't make up my mind, but if I had to choose two flavors, it would be salted caramel and birthday cake for sure. I'm not sure if Breyers has it. I feel like birthday cake might be a flavor that they would have, but I don't know if it comes in the low calorie ice cream wine. But if they don't have it, Brayers, I'm requesting a birthday cake ice cream flavor, and I would be really happy if you would make one. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure, but I feel like there might be more flavors out there from Brayers in like maybe other countries. So if you're one of those people who are lucky enough to have tried other flavors that the brand offers, please comment down below which flavor is your favorite. I would really like to know your honest opinion on that. Be honest. Be honest. Now I just can't wait to like try the mint chocolate chip one. I know it's not a lot of people's favorite flavor. Everyone around me always says it tastes like toothpaste or something, but I love mint chocolate chip, so I'm really excited to try that. Hey guys, so it's been like a week since the last time I've tried the Breyers Vanilla and Cookies and Cream, and today I finally got my hands on the mint chocolate chip flavor, which comes in the green tub. So I'm going to try this right now because like I said, I've been really excited to try this. So let's see how it goes. The weather is so hot today, so I just hope that my ice cream isn't like melted. So in this entire tub, there's 340 calories in total. And if we look at the macros, per tub it has 10 grams of fat, 51 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. So I'm just guessing that every single tub has um, the equal amount of protein because that's what it seems like for um, the vanilla and cookies and cream as well. So if we open this, it's finally more of a full tub, unlike my cookies and cream tub. So, okay, I'm going to try this. 
Oh shit! Mmm. I really like this. No, this is hands down my favorite. So for any of you who don't like mint chocolate chip and thinks it actually tastes like toothpaste, I'm really sorry, but this is actually their best flavor. But I feel like if you're a mint chocolate chip person like me, you're gonna love this so much. Like, oh my gosh, I'm actually speechless, guys. Mmm. This is so good. So the thing with this is that the mint flavor isn't that strong. You got hints of vanilla here and there, but it's so refreshing. And it makes your throat feel a little chilly, which is something that I love. It's just like chewing gum or something. The chocolate chips are like dark chocolate chips, and I really, really like that. Okay, I'm giving this a freaking 9 out of 10 because I really like this. I think this is going to be like my go-to ice cream tub. It just feels so nice, especially like in the summer when you have something cold, but it also like tastes minty. I just like anything minty. <laughs> so I don't really have much to say about the mint chocolate chip one, apart from the fact that I really like it. It's not too sweet at all, and it still gives you that creamy flavor. But this is also the same with actually the vanilla and cookies and cream. I feel like Breyer's low calorie ice cream um, is still creamy, so if you like that, please try it. I think you'll love it. Um, you might have different preferences than me. You might actually like the vanilla or cookies and cream. But for me, the mint chocolate chip wins. And now let's move on to the more important things, which is the price of this ice cream tub. So, um, Breyers in the Netherlands is 4.99 euros, so like 5 euros basically. And it is 1 euro cheaper than like haagen or Ben & Jerry's. So, because it is lower calorie, healthier, lower sugar, higher protein, whatever, um, and it's cheaper, like, I think it's perfect, I think you should definitely try this, even if I've given some kind of low points for vanilla and cookies and cream, but, yeah, and, um, if you want to try the chocolate, please go ahead and let me know what it tastes like. So, I guess this is a wrap for my vlog today, it's not really a vlog, it's more like a food review. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye!